tremendous crowd on hand tonight. Our first time in London, Ontario. Oh, London, that sign says it. This is Copeland country. Hot damn, that was fun. I could do that every... It, can we just be here every night? So listen, about a week and a half ago, Thank you. About a week and a half ago, I finally closed the book on Christian Cage. And now it is time to start a new chapter in my career. I decided it was time to go back to a little thing called the Cope Open. Only this time, well this time the stakes are higher because I am here to put my TNT championship on the line in these Cope Opens. I ain't gonna run and hide like the patriarch. I'm here to fight. So since I'm here to fight, I wanna know who is gonna step up and take me on the Cope Open. Come on, I'm here, let's do it. Well, we've seen athletes from young Griff Garrison all the way to the legendary Minoru Suzuki answer this challenge, Tony. Well, he's 4-0 in the Cope Open. Let's see who's going to step up here. trying to find himself, find his identity. It was nearly four years ago when he teamed with Cody here in AEW. Now, four years later, he went back to his roots, developed the deathmatch style of all things, and now presents a, a, a tremendous challenge and a very winnable one for Cardona. We could be looking at a new champion here tonight. How about that? Walking in and becoming a champion. You mentioned it. going back to his roots. Being in death matches, that means he'll do what it takes to win. This is very interesting as we got the teacher against the student. And then once again, the crowd is livid here tonight. We're loving it, every bit of it here on Collision. We're live on Collision. It's the Rated R Superstars Cope Open TNT Championship. Incredibly against Matt Cardona, who walked in here unannounced and shocked everybody and right now. Cardona's has the advantage in this matchup. Nigel, he had the element of surprise, but he also has the element of preparation. He's coming in with a great game plan right now. Well, it wasn't a great plan. You got to be honest, Adam Copeland showed his veteran experience up front, but it was Cardona who was more adaptable, more versatile on the fly, and that has given him his advantage here. But listen to that reaction for Cardona. I mean, what a xenophobic lot they have here in Canada. There you see some of the events that will be coming to very, very soon, including Wednesday, April 10th, back in Charleston, West Virginia, the Charleston Coliseum. You saw next Wednesday, we're going to be in Worcester, Mass. And then Saturday, April 13th, the Truett Arena in Highland Heights, Kentucky. Wow! Oh, man, how about this? You're talking about two guys that know each other. And the fans love it, many of them standing here. This is why you have to be at AEW, the electricity in the air here tonight. It's incredible. 
By the way, all of our venues, of course, tickets available, AEWTIX.com. It's the type of action you only get right here at AEW, baby. And you're looking at a great crowd on hand here at the Budweiser Gardens. Our first time here, and the fans are loving this. Cardona came out again unexpectedly. He has taken the fight right to the rated R superstar. Boy, Cardona, all he can do to pull himself up on those far side ropes. Both men a little bit worse for the wear at this point. You're absolutely right. It's becoming a game of attrition at this point. Oh, oh. Sweeping the legs out from underneath him. And Cardona hit very, very hard. The back, maybe back of the head that time. Just yeah. a punishing match. Certainly is. It, it turned hard hitting about a minute into Nigel's point when the counter punches and the counter moves to the goal. Listen to this crowd. They want to see Adam Copeland go up top. Oh, he got oh. knocked that time and a jumping forearm shot. And a knife edge chopped by Cardona. And what an ignominious end to his title reign if Cardona can beat Copeland here tonight. And dare I say, fitting as well after the last time he held the title. How long was that, six seconds? 11 seconds, but who's counting? You are. Oh! Copeland up top now. Here he goes. Wow! Hey, Bulldog, him off the top. And he covers one, two. Copeland could not get the three. And you see Copeland kind of just pat on the mat out of frustration that time. Slammed his hand down. I told you he was prone to outbursts, physical and mental. Frustration now starting to show, perhaps. Did you say mental outbursts? Yes. You're looking at there. He's like a capricious vagrant. You know, no, no. What's going to come out of his mouth? One of the things benefiting Cardona right now is the variety of opponents he's faced leading into this match. That's a great call, Ian. He's oh. faced. Oh. 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 oh! Look at that! One, two, no! Oh. Again, Copeland stealing one of Christian Cage's moves. Cardona kicked out of this it. This is an homage to the Patriot. Oh, this is nothing like that, and it, but it's a great match. It certainly is the stamina now on display from Cardona. He's making Copeland go to him to close the gap. How ironic that it was Copeland that was having Cardona chase him earlier in the match. Absolutely. Again, student versus teacher. Whoa! Oh, he oh, the official ropes. didn't see it. He kicked the ropes. He did oh. it. Oh, ignominy! Oh. Within an eyelash of a new champion here, we'll take another look. It's Cardona driving the skull of Copeland in two, and I thought that was it. And so did Cardona. You see the reaction from Matt's face. It has only been 10 days since that blood-filled, brutal spectacle between Cage and Copeland. That's right, it was back in Toronto. That it all went down in the I Quit match. We saw the footage earlier. And there's no way that he could be 100%. Oh, goodness. And the stuff means superstar. Boy, you can tell this is very personal between these two, teacher and student. And look at the face of Cardona. The student teaches a lesson. And I think the professor, the teacher, Needs a new line of work. Well, I would disagree here. He shouldn't walk oh. away. Oh. Oh. oh! Spear countered! Oh, radio! Oh, radio silence countered! Oh! oh he countered the radio silence! And power bomb him on the top turnbuckle! Oh, you could see it on the face that time of Copeland that he was just exhausted. Take a look at this again, Ian. The fans were ready to explode on impacts to Bob Smith. Perfect position. Two count. You see it in the eyes of the fans. The fans are beginning to come alive again and get behind the rated R superstar. Well, we mentioned that obviously 
Adam Copeland, 4-0. The Cope Open prior to winning the TNT Championship. The fans are calling to Copeland. They're standing everywhere. He's looking for the spear. Christian Cage's move. Here it comes. Oh, oh, McGinnis over here at our broadcast booth. Okay, Listen to the stunned silence here in London. They're about to see their hero go down into fate. Yep. Oh! And look at the poise of Cardona. He's in control of his breath. He's in control of the moment. And he's in control of his destiny to become the new TNT champion. And he's going he's gonna to try to spare him. You can see this. What a way to do it. Right Copeland is still the TNT champ. Matt Cardona came with a mission in mind. Gave Copeland everything he had here tonight. But the late adjustments, Nigel, the counter of the spear into a spear of his own, the difference. That's one way of telling this story. Another way, angry Adam did it again. Lucky. No luck at all. Oh, my brother. Uh, I think his luck's about to change. Whoa! Black! Malachi Black, my God, appears in the center of the ring. Truly one of the most dangerous men in all of AEW. Truly. how tentative Copeland is. What? He's got black substance coming down and spit. No, what? He's got Buddy Matthews attacking him from behind is what he's got. Oh! -ho! Buddy Matthews from behind doing the dirty work. The sky, boy. What? Mark Briscoe's here! Mark Briscoe's coming in! They've seen the House of Black again! Oh, oh no! He got kicked in the face! Oh. That knee delivered in the jaw! Well, that wasn't a smart decision, was it? Remember Mark Briscoe as Hayden hey, Kingston comes out! Oh, it's, it's no, Kingston! It's Kingston! Briscoe was the one that helped the House of Black get knocked out of the tournament! Two weeks ago, and Kingston and Briscoe will face each other for the Ring of Honor World Title this Friday. It's no, no, it's good again. They're gone. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at those three dummies. With Eddie Kingston, Adam Copeland, and Mark Briscoe standing in the ring again. Briscoe has really been a thorn in the side of the House of Black. He certainly has. He's been looking for justice in some ways. Eddie Kingston will defend the Ring of Honor World Championship this Friday, though, in Philadelphia, the birthplace of Ring of Honor for Supercard of Honor. Live for all Honor Club subscribers here tonight. They are allies against the House of Black. Friday, the richest prize in Ring of Honor on the line. 11 years to the day that Jay Briscoe won his first Ring of Honor World Championship. Respect shown tonight. A great win from Adam Copeland to retain the TNT Championship, Tony.